when we're playing four games in seven days, um, it's tough. You know, the travel isn't as bad in Chicago because we're kind of centralized. Uh, so it's not super long flights, but yeah, it varies. But at the same time, I think when I do feel good and when we're rolling, um, yeah, I do take a take more of a a point to be a creator, whether it's for myself or for my teammates. And since you mentioned Tokyo, I'm guessing you saw what happened yesterday with the Olympic team. You reach out to NECA yet as well, since you obviously been through that, unfortunately. Of course, I've reached out to NECA. I mean, listen, um, I think that there's a number of women that are deserving. It's not taken away from anybody on the team. Um, shout out to Chelsea Gray for, for being the point guard. I was so excited that they didn't mess that up um, and put her on the team because she's one of the best guards in the entire world. Uh, there's a number of players that are deserving. I mean, when you're in the United States, you have, you could field a first, second, and third team, and you probably win gold, silver, and bronze. So at the same time, I know there's a lot of deserving women, but how many times are we going to say it's unfair, right? Like, how many times are we going to say that it's not politics? Like, I think we all know that. So I hit NECA. I was like, listen, like, it sucks. It's unfair. Uh, all that blah, blah, blah. You know, you, you're one of the greats. You're the only MVP not to make an Olympic team, which is bullshit. But that's what it is, right? That's why I'm commentating in Tokyo. <laughs> I look forward to it, Ace. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Hi, YouTube. It's your boy, the one and only. One Nathan. Nathan here with another video presentation. <laughs> How y'all doing this late evening? I apologize. Um, this is not a troll video. This is honestly, uh, this was an actual good topic to talk about. It's just the title of the video. Uh, we do have a problem. It needs to be talked about. Uh, so there, women's basketball for 2020, um, for this year's Olympics, has been released. Before, oh, before I get into that, uh, so this episode, so this video and my rant on the 76ers, I'm going to be posted as extras on as part of episode four of a podcast that I have debuted this year on episode four, season one. So I do appreciate the support I've been getting on that. I mean, if you enjoy that and want to see more of it and get more ideas, you can, again, feel free to uh, leave your suggestions or comments. Again, if you are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with notification bells on. But let's get back into let's let's get back on on track. So the roster has been finalized, and I have a couple questions. Well, first and foremost, let's just go off the list. Air, Ariel Atkins, who let, let me just say this is having an all star year. I might have, we need to have her in the MVP conversation. Sue Bird, Tina Charles played one hell of a game tonight against the Seattle Storms. I'm going to recap that tomorrow. I just wanted to just keep it uh, strictly to this topic. But Tina Charles, Nafisa Collier, Skylar Diggins Smith, Sylvia Follows, Chelsea Gray. Brittany Griner, Jewel Lloyd, Brianna Stewart, Dinah Tarasi, Asia Wilson. Now, a couple of people that were left off this list. Deladon, Elena Deladon, who's recovering from back surgery. Candace Parker, I don't know why. She should be on this list. And then Neko Ogumake. You know, it if y'all saw that I played that 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 pregame, the uh, the availability postgame interview, availability for the Chicago Sky. She's won two gold medals. It was a was a, a couple years ago with I know it's been the past two FIBA World Cups. Neko Gumake was not on the 2016 Olympic team. 
and nor is Candace Parker. Can we just call it what it is and just say that there's a lot of, there's, there's a, I, I, something ain't right with this. She's the, she's an MVP. And, and, I'm, and I'll leave it in the description for y'all to see because her sister went on, on, on a Twitter rant. You know, standing, you know, letting letting people know, you know, MVP, she's a champion. Five time all star, four time all NBA, four time defensive team. And she's the president of women's bet of, of the of the league. Nika Gumike has done a lot for these ladies. I mean, example, hello people, the, the documentary 144 was on. Think about the stress as the voice for 144 women. And on top of that, being a, you know, an all-star player. That's a lot. She's done a lot for this league. And you mean to tell me whoever is behind the selection? I mean, I can, you know, Cheryl Reeves, Dan Hughes, Don Stanley, Jennifer Rizzarati, if they if they know basketball, which I know they all do, because they're all well, you know, they're, they are respected. Nika Gumike should be on this year's roster to to in Tokyo. I'm not taking anything away from these girls. They, 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 listen, they all play hard. They, they, they are an all-star talent. But I want to quote Don Stan, Coach Stanley, where she goes, quote, breaks my heart that Nika isn't on this team. Having to make a decision today. If we had to make a decision for a month from now, I'm sure she'd be healthy. That was one of the things she wanted to do. This was one of the things she wanted to do. Donna Tarasi cracked her chest in half. And she's on this team. This is not a slight on Donna Tarasi because I, I admire Donna Tarasi. She cracked her chest in half. And she's on this roster. That's a double standard. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, you know, I, and the, that I'm trying to collectively remember who was on that 2012 roster. Brittany Grind, I believe, was on that roster. Candace Parker, Angel McCaltry, Tina Charles. I might be forgetting some names. I just need to use let me refresh my memory. Mickey Catchings. Anna Tarasi. Sue Bird, if I'm, if I'm saying that correctly, was on that team as well. Let me see. Who else? Help me. Help me. No. I'm trying to remember who else was on that team. There's one other player that escapes me. It might have been Skylar Diggins. I am more. Okay, that's who it was. There's Simone Augustus, Swin Cash, Asia Jones, Lindsey Whalen. I already said Angel McCaltry. But who was the head coach that year? Coach Gino. You know, there's this this notion that again, I, I just want to point this out. He had one, two, three, four, five. Six. UConn. UConn. That's six UConn players on this roster. Now, if I remember correctly in that All-Star game, too, Candace Parker wasn't getting minutes. If she was getting minutes, it was trash. Swin Cash, a, a Hall of Famer, respecter, I wish it, I respect her. But Swin Cash, I think, should not have made that team, in my personal opinion. It's not a slight on, on Swin Cash. But 
the point I'm trying to make is, is that when we make, you know, when it comes to like all star MVP, someone's always going to get snubbed. But this right here is BS. There's no way. And again, this is not a slide on. This is not a slide on. Like easily, like Nafisa Collier shouldn't be on this list, and it's not a slight on Nafisa because Nafisa is a great player, but she's not better than Nico Gumake. Brianna Stewart, again, not a slight, but Nico Gumake should be on this list. But when do we start calling what it is like? We, let's, we understand that you, you got to put the work in and all this stuff like that. And, you know, you're told, you know, th- you know this will be your time. This, you, you're going to get your chance. You're going to get your shine. Like, for example, Anthony, Anthony Davis, he was, I believe, the only rookie on that team USA that year, 2012. But. I want you guys to see, and I'm, and I'm going to share this. Matter of fact, hold on. This is good to know as well because uh, we all, like Candace Parker said, Politics play a role. I'm really mad, honestly and truthfully, she's not on the team. She should be. Both of them should be on this team. But, you know, I'm, I'm more disappointed that this is another Olympic season. And, again, Katie Smith. I could have sworn Kurt uh, Kurt Miller was on this committee as well. I don't like it. I don't. It, it, it just really lets me know that no matter what, he's all his. Because I'm looking at these rosters, he's coached UConn. Not, and I don't have anything against UConn, but when do we really give some of the the people like like again? Nika Gumake is a great example. When do we sit back and go, damn, she's the face of the league. She's done a lot for this league. She's a voice for the women. MVP. She's the only MVP, like Candace said, not to make this roster. I'm going to share my screen so y'all can see um, Dev Peters' tweets because she had a lot to say about this. I mean, she went off. When I mean off, I mean it was it went left field and out the park. So she goes, "Okay, let's so let's talk about bum ass U.S. U.S. basketball." I'm going to preface this by saying I'm happy for the players that made it. Have no issue with them whatsoever. Yes, I mean, and, and unfortunately, you know, we let's not let's not take away their moment. Because again, they all worked their asses off to be in this position. But you know, she goes off with this spiel here, and that's actually a funny gift when I first saw it. Um, she goes, "It's politics. It really has to do with it, with, with basketball as much as they try and say. If you look at the rosters each year, you know damn well that's a lie. But if it was like the men." 
like that they would say, hey, these are superstars and you're up next. It would make more sense than this BS here. Again, I pointed it out, you got six UConn players. Meanwhile, they're in London. They have a schedule for the USA team and a schedule for UConn players. Yes, they had activities that were just for UConn players, but that's not political, right? Sure. Then on top of that, Candace Park, yeah, I, I brought that up. So let's go to 2016. And this is coming off the year, ladies and gentlemen, that the Los Angeles Sparks beat the Minnesota Lynx in the NBA Finals. W, in the WNBA Finals, excuse me. Neka Gumake hit that hit, hit that clutch bucket. Okay, next up would mean the post player that has been busting their ass, best in the league in the last four years, rookie of the year, three-time All-Star, all defensive team, right? We're going to take the rookie whose feet's barely wet in the league. I mean, again, in the same breath, 2012, Anthony Davis made the roster. But I understand her. I, I get what she's saying. Now, we all know she was making an Olympic team, and she's an excellent player. It was just a matter of time, but right off the bat. So it's clearly not about stats because Nick had those above anybody. It ain't waning, it ain't waning next up because she was that. So it's the excuse now. Now it's people expect, expect her to be on this team because of what she did in college. So she was so big, there's no way she could have kept that off. But, you know, same coach, same committee, you know the vibes. I think she meant to say fun fact. I think, or I'm not sure she meant, like, fuck the fact. Um, Nick has been busting her ass all this time in the WBA. F, okay, so we okay. She, she's obviously cussing, so she's trying to keep it PG. After the fact that this was a con continuation of what she did in college, not that that's not politics, right? Meanwhile, your favorite coach told one of the players that year he cut. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't make the Connecticut team. It had to be correctly subtle on his slip by one of his other coaches, but that's not politics at all. All right. Okay, cool. So now it's not about the stats, not about next up. This is a long time coming to 2021. And your girl has won a, won a championship, has an MVP, and quite literally changed the face of the league as a president. The time has got to be now. Nope. Oh, she hurt. We go with the half your option. Yeah, Darana Tarasi, yes, has cracked, has cracked your chest in half, and she's on this roster. No disrespect to Diana Tarasi again. But she ain't back yet, and she's on the team. So then it's, oh, we're, we're, we're clear in her situation. That's, see, that's BS to me. That's BS because to me, I would think you would be in communication with your players. Nika, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Like, I'm pretty sure they're calling Diana. They're probably doing weekly checks, texts on her going, okay, we just want to see the status of how she's doing. But when I go back to this quote, where's it at? I'm sorry, it was on this Yahoo Sports. Right here. It breaks my heart that Naka isn't on this team. Having to make a decision today, if we had to make a decision a month from now, I'm sure she'd be healthy. Well, you surely didn't clearly have an issue doing that with Dinah Tarasi. And again, not taken away from what Dinah Tarasi's done. She deserves, she worked her ass off to be on this roster. This is not a slight on her. But we're simply pointing out that's a double standard. Now, this is a continue what she says, and wouldn't be sure that Naka was ready or cleared about her status to get to get on the. She went to say to get on the damn Olympic committee. If they weren't clear and wanted her on the team, why wouldn't they just ask? Maybe another question. Okay, so she's obviously right here playing. Um, she goes, well, in the same breath, but Diana Taurasi, they're asking her questions, and it's probably, you know, she already knows. So, I mean, she's basically, you know, calling Team USA out, and she's basically saying, you know, it's bullshit. You know, it's time that we figure this, this out. Because it makes no sense that as great of a talent that Nika Gumike is and what she has accomplished at her time in the league, she should be on this roster. And I'm not taking away from any of the 12, 
But Nafisa Collier, she's still a baby. She's a rookie of the year. I'm a fan of Nafisa Collier. But she's not better than Nico Gumake. Brianna Stewart probably will be one of the best WNBA players when she retires. Asia Wilson, MVP, not taking anything away from her. But I'm saying if you look at, compare what Nika has done to some of them, she should be on this roster. But I'm not here to take the shine away from Errol Atkins, who's this is her first, who this to me, this would be this is her first appearance on the national roster. Skylar Diggins, Chelsea Gray, Asia Wilson. I'm not taking their moment away because they deserve it. They work their ass off. But let's be clear. Let, let's be fair. Nika Gumike is off this roster for what? Because you prefer to have a certain type of player. And again, one, two, three, four. I mean, come on now. That, that's not right. There's a bias there. There's a bias there. And, and, and again, a coach, same thing. And, and unfortunately, and, we're, we're, and I guarantee you, we're going to see it with the All-Star game, with the WNBA All-Star game, and we're going to see it when it comes to the MVP voting and the awards. These coaches or players are going to get snubbed. But this was one where I think was totally uncalled for. Nick Ogumike should be on this roster. And Candace Parker, too. But I think this is where, I'm, I, I, and I'm, I'm going to say it, where you have all these, you know, they, all these women have the platform. All these WNBA players like Devereaux Peters continue to call them out. Say, hey, you know what? That's not right. I work, you know, she, she, and how, how, how long is she supposed to wait? How long is she supposed to wait before it's her time? I've said it before too. I, I said it in a video. A, a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of these women, a lot of these coaches, they have favoritism. Like me personally, like for example, like anyone that knows basketball, for example, a, a lot of coach should be on the WNBA roster because she's a defensive minded center. Kalani Brown, out of Baylor. Won a national championship. I believe has a gold medal too. Should be on a WNBA roster. But the issue with her, the, the thing is that everyone keeps going. Well, she was out of shape. Okay, and and, and keep in mind when she, she had COVID last year. And on top of that, they didn't really give her a chance in Atlanta. She only played, I mean, she was getting trash minutes. She wasn't getting no more than 10, maybe five, seven minutes a game. Nikki Cohen was the coach in the buck, was the coach last year. And then Cheryl Reeves, former assistant, Mike Peterson. These coaches, they, 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 they play favorites. It's a favoritism. It's all about who they're comfortable with. And at the end of the day, I think it's BS. You got to be, oh, again, we're, 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 the coaches, the players always going to get snubbed off a list. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this timestamp. I didn't mean to play, uh, play that. I apologize. I'm going to leave this timestamp for the Candace Parker response. I, I'm with her. Um, I just feel bad for Nika because uh, I'm a fan 
and I'm a fan of most of these most of these ladies that made the roster, but come on now. I, I mean, when when does it stop? When does it stop? You know, we're not sitting here going, you know, it, and I'm not. We're not trying to make it a lifetime achievement award, but her her stats speak for herself. She should she should be she should have been on this one last year. I mean, not twenty sixteen. Right. Then was I understood? But I didn't like it. Four years later, you still make the same mistake and don't put her on the team. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. So um, I think this this concludes episode four of my podcast with Big Nick Talk. Um, y'all, let me know y'all thoughts. Um, who is you to take it off the list? Is, you know, Candace and Nika, should they be on this list together? Either one, who would you put? Who would you take off? Um, I don't like it. I'm very disappointed. Um, and I'm glad that it's being called out. And unfortunately, I just didn't like Coach Stanley's um, comments because I, I respect Coach Stanley. And I really hope, you know, she, I know she's been, they've been thinking about her as a head coach for the Portland Trail Blazers. And it could, you know, it'd be a great moment for the NBA to get a coach like her or Becky Hammond or Teresa Witherspoon as, as coaches, um, but head coaches, excuse me. But at the end of the day, um, you got to put your foot down and say, no, NACA. You know, like <laughs> that, that shit crazy. I'm out.